So here I'm engraving away part of the acrylic so that it's a little bit thinner than all the other parts. Uh, you'll see later on that this piece is sandwiched between two other pieces and if I didn't do this then it wouldn't turn freely. Here you'll see I'm adjusting the height of the bed because this is 3mm, not 4.5mm acrylic. And I just skipped taking all the plastic backing off the acrylic so that took me about half an hour. You'll see here on the two keys there's two of the holes that don't line up. That's because when I was arranging the parts to laser cut them, I didn't select one of the squares so it's out of position. Now when I'm putting these little um, rod pieces in, which align everything up, the acrylic actually has a slight taper on it because of the laser cutting, which means that they, they go through better one direction than the other. Here I'm just trimming the rods that are used to hold it together because it was designed for 4.5mm acrylic and the acrylic that I actually have is 4.3mm. The black spring doesn't actually have very much spring in it. I'm used to working with Baltic birch which I think would have had more spring. Um, so what I have actually done, although I haven't shown it here, is I've tried it taking the spring from a ballpoint pen and using that instead and that actually works very well. It's a little bit stiff, but as I've used it, it has actually freed up and is a little bit smoother now. <laughs> 